the Jewish farmer has a lot to take care of. After he gets his crops and has them in a pile, he has to separate truma and give it to a kohen. He has to separate miser and give it to a levy. He has to separate another type of miser. And then he finally uses it, makes it into dough. And at the end of this week's Parsha, Parsha Shlach, we're told about one last thing he has to do. He has to separate challah. The Torah tells us, challah tarimu truma. You should separate challah for the Kohen. And then it adds another line, kitrumas goren. You should separate it just like the truma that you separated from the grain. Why does the Torah add that phrase? Why does the Torah compare challah, the very end of the process, to separating truma from the grain, which was the very beginning? Rav Moshe Sternbach suggests that the Torah is telling us an important lesson about a sequence of mitzvos. Challah appears at the very end of the process. The farmer has taken part in many mitzvos along the way, and finally he has reached the mitzvah of challah. And the Torah tells him, you should do that mitzvah the same way you did the first mitzvah. You should do it with the same excitement that you separated truma from the grain. And this is a message to all of us as we take part in many mitzvahs and we remember the first time we did it, the first time we took part in the mitzvah, and we should continue to do those mitzvahs with the exact same excitement.